and welcome to the pilot episode of Road Trips. This week on Road Trips, we're going to take you down the O&W Railroad, the forgotten track. All this and more when we come back. Many years have passed since the last train blew its whistle here on the old O&W Railroad. Now only horses and ATVs travel its old track bed. In the early 1900s, large tracts of land rich with virgin timber and coal lay in Pickett and Fentress counties, as well as the Big Survey, which lay mostly in western Scott County. Because of the rugged terrain in which these resources had to be extracted, they were practically inaccessible. With little or no access to these prized natural resources, the Stearns Coal and Lumber Company, owner of the Big Survey, tried various means to get the coal and lumber out of the remote reaches of this largely unpopulated gorge. Dumping logs over a 400 foot cliff into the Big South Fork River to float them to a dam built in Kentucky did not work. Most of the logs sank. A mill was built at Stearns, Kentucky and the company began buying up land from Lewis Bryant and building the Kentucky and Tennessee Railroad which eventually reached into Fentress County. Construction of the O&W Railroad was hotly disputed by the Stearns Coal and Lumber Company in a lawsuit claiming that the O&W Railroad was being built without legal right to do so. Dr. Frank C. Thomas, retired president of the Stearns Company, remembers reading the document in which the Supreme Court of Tennessee ruled that the Stearns folk were indeed correct. When the O&W owners planned construction of the railroad, they had no charter and really did not exist. However, the fact that the Stearns Coal and Lumber Company had brought legal suit against a company called the O&W Railroad, that action made it a corporate body and therefore, as of then, it did exist. When we return, take a scenic leisurely drive down the old O&W Railroad. That's coming up next on Road Trips. Taking a drive down the old O&W Railroad is like taking a trip back in time. As you travel down the old track bed, you're reminded of what it must have been like for the engineer hauling coal and timber out of these beautiful mountains and rivers. Cliffs shoot up to the sky like they could almost reach the clouds, and the Big South Fork River flows peacefully as it did 100 years ago. The old train bridge still stands as one of the only mementos that a train used to travel these hills. Locals visit the old O&W Railroad quite often. I ran into Kyle and Jackie O'Neill of Scott County on our visit here and stopped to talk about what they liked the best about the O&W Railroad. We've been coming down here, well I have for 40 something years, you know, since I was with my mom and dad. and We'd come down and have cookouts and this and that, fish, swim here in the creek, camp and play and just have a good time. Of course, the, the railroad bed itself, you know, it's in good shape now where they've graded it. And, uh, of course, it's changed a lot. It used to be pretty rough for a while. So would you guys recommend people from out of town to come and visit the O&W Railroad? Sure. It's enjoyable. Yeah. Nice scenery. You get to see the river all the way down, so that's nice.
Whether you come to the old O&W Railroad for its historical value or its beauty, it's definitely a road trip worth taking. I'm Mike King for Road Trips.